Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and that is dynamic features in Franklin. So questions might be, is it possible we have dynamic features, dynamic APIs? Because whatever, what we have seen so far, uh, Franklin is more oriented, inclined towards document based authoring where uh, authors, they can use Google Docs uh, or the SharePoint location to uh, do the authoring and then it is easy to author the content and uh, then activate preview or publish the content. But the question is, is it possible we can have dynamic features in using a Franklin project or can we have functionalities like form submission, third party integration, is it possible? So the answer is yes, of course it is possible and in this demo I'm going to show uh, maybe how can how can we trigger a dynamic API and uh, maybe I'll create one more video maybe we will have a form submission kind of feature we will submit form fields to one of the API let's continue the demo so what I'm going to do I I'm let me create a new document and uh, I'll name it as the API demo. Okay, so I have created this document. Now on this page, I want some dynamic feature um, uh, to be added. Now we know that we, uh, everything works using default content or block. Now we are going to create a new block where we have that dynamic feature. Now to create the block, very first step is we will have table. Let's do that. So I'm going to create a table. Nothing. I'll I'll just write down uh, the block name. Let's name it as uh, my API demo. Simple name. So this is the block I am going to create now. So what I'm going to do in the block, these are the blocks, and maybe I'll just create a new block. And I'll, I'll give the same name. It's my API demo, my API demo. So I'll give the same name to this. And we have already discussed that uh, in the block, we need two things. One is that style, we need CSS. And the second thing is script, which is nothing but the JS. The name should be same. So my API demo. And let me open the JavaScript because there I have already lit written the logic. Okay, so simple. It's a very simple logic because what I am going to do, uh, this is a fake API call, which will return me. I'll just hit it and show what this API will return me. So this is a get get call I'm going to make. And this is returning me this data where I have user ID, title, etc. Right? Let's go by, go back to the script what I have written. Uh, okay, so this is the default function we have, which is a decorate function. Inside that function, I'm calling my own function fetch data. Okay, in which I am passing the block element and in fetch data. This is nothing but the jQuery fetch API. Um, I'm just hitting this API, getting the response. I'm cloning it so that I don't get that exception that you have already read the response. So don't read it again and again. So I, I mean, and then whatever response I'm getting, I'm taking title from that response. So this, this uh, parameter I'm taking. And finally, I'm showing it on the console. Okay, but uh, before that, I am just appending it to block so that it can appear on the page itself. Simple thing, right? Okay, so now I have created the block. So we need to deploy this. Uh, we need to push it to our repository. So what I will do, this data I have added. I'll just index it, commit my code.
okay it's done and i will go back here and let me preview it so if you don't see it this line where always click on this extension preview it and it is nothing because again the same thing the the code what we have pushed is is in which branch my feature branch always remember this right and this is the main branch url so change it to my feature and the title was this the same is appearing here right so we have just seen that within uh, we have just created a new block and in that block we have written simple script which we already write in our uh, usual am um, development phase also right and uh, we have just uh, the the fake api we just uh, fetch that api got the response append it to block and the same is written on the page now i mean this is just a demo so that's why i have i have uh, just uh, uh, written it to block but uh, just consider if we want to use this maybe just consider this is a third party api uh, which we, i want to hit from uh, my front end i'll get the response i want to do some manipulation on top of that maybe there are different attributes and then i want to play around so that is doable possible okay that's it in this video thank you so much for watching